Rain affecting the start of the Nibrock Festival. The parade that was scheduled for this evening has been postponed uh, due to the weather. It's going to be held now, we're told, on Saturday at 7 p.m. The good thing is Saturday is looking pretty good. It's Saturday, plenty of sunshine, so that's the day to really have a <laughs> yeah. parade because tonight we've got all the rain heading our way and it sounds like it's just starting <laughs> yeah. here on the rooftop at mm -hmm. WYMT. Let's take a look outside. And even tomorrow, the shower chances are coming up a little bit. Yeah, there you can see it. That rain's starting to fall just a little bit. Uh, you can really see it across the mountain there. Uh, and that rain is heading eastward. Let's go to Pinpoint Doppler right now, and you will see just a lot of precipitation out there this afternoon, the heaviest of which right now into northern Clay, southern Jackson County, pushing off to the north and east. Flash flood watch remains in effect through 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, the good news is right now, as long as this rain stays light to moderate, we should avoid widespread flooding issues. I can't rule out a few isolated high water problems, but right now we're doing okay. Scattered rain down in the Cumberland Valley uh, with a little bit more concentrated once you move east of I-75. There you can see that little shower right on top of Hazard where we're hearing it start to really pelt the roof pretty well. Uh, temperatures into the mid 70s right now, pretty much area wide. A few scattered showers west of Prestonsburg, south of Sayersville. Uh, if you're going to be traveling along 23 from Prestonsburg down to Pikeville the next few hours, it's going to be a soggy commute. So uh, use extra caution traveling. The area of low pressure, which has caused the rain for the last two days, slowly working its way off to the east. Folks, this thing's worse than a Sunday driver. It is just not taking its time to move on out. It's going to take another 12 to 24 hours before we clear the worst of it past eastern Kentucky. Mid 60s tomorrow morning and then upper 70s by tomorrow afternoon. We notice though the forecast for tomorrow's changed a little bit. We're putting a chance of showers back in because that low is going so slow. We're going to see a little northwest wind as it goes off to the east. That'll enhance our shower chances tomorrow during the afternoon. Here's a look at future view. Scattered stuff in the morning. I think we'll see a break in the action. And then about 4 o'clock tomorrow with that northwesterly wind, when that wind hits the mountains, it causes the air to rise, and that can sometimes help to spark off showers. And I think we'll see a few of those tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then on Sunday or Saturday, high pressure builds back in. That'll bring us plenty of nice weather. And then on Sunday, a slight chance of showers as another system comes in from the northwest. About another inch to an inch and a half of rain possible for most of the region by tomorrow evening. But I don't think we'll see too many high water problems as long as this stuff doesn't get too heavy over the next couple hours. And then as we go in the next week, another cool down by the end of the week. So uh, Steve, dry day on Saturday, most of Sunday should be dry. And then we're back to a uh, more active pattern next week. All right, Shane, thank you very much. We have a new 